Welcome to VXD Services. In this video I would like to show you the differences between the CMS S and the CMS P plan. Now the S stands for standard and the P stands for pro. So within this video I would like to show you more about the differences about what these two plans have to offer and what the differences are between those two. So hopefully you will then be able to make a decision yourself which of the two plans suits you best. Now let's dive into the software. So right now we're signed into the VXD dashboard as you can see. So we have our screens, our content, our playlist and our schedule. So I will start with the screen section to highlight the differences between the CMSS and the CMSP. So right now you can see the two displays that I've connected to my account. Now if I um, select one, I get to see more information about my specific display. I can start the remote control connection which is, as you can see, only supported in the P-Series. So the great benefits about VXD is that it will show you which functionality is supported by which plan. Now if I click on the play icon, you can see that the VXD animation is being played right now and I can take it over my display and watch along with my display remotely. So here at the bottom I have my options, so if I have menu, the menu will open on the display and I can take over the display in case I want to. So this whole watching along and taking over display is a premium functionality. Then on the right hand side I have some information that the display is giving back to the server. So this is all standard information. I can view more details in case I want to. So I can see the device model name, the serial number, the MAC address, IP address and the firmware version which is always important, of course, to retrieve. Then at the top right settings, I have my display settings. So in case I want to make any of these settings that you can see on the right hand side, the P plan is required for this. So the remote configuration is really convenient in case you would like to being able to uh, switch on or off your displays remotely, apart from the on and off timers. So therefore the remote configuration has to be enabled. So then again, these options that you can see right here on the right hand side are only supported within the P plan. Now, going back to my uh, screen overview, I can add screens um, in case I have enough licenses, of course, uh, which are can be added as a S or a P connection. So that's not a problem right here. Um, however, the new screen wall, also known as the video wall option, also comes with a P indicator uh, meaning that the screen wall setup is only supported within the P plan of VXT. Now furthermore I can uh, sort my displays in case I want to, I can change the view. Now everything else is just in here and supported by all plans. Furthermore I can um, from my device section or my screen section I can directly set content to my displays which is supported in both plans. I can also take a look at the energy management, which is only supported by the pro plan, as you can see. I can add tags in order to filter the displays and order them the right way. I can clear the cache of the player. I can move them to a different workspace. I can deactivate my display or and I can also delete my display. Now the energy management is the only thing that stands out for the P plan right here. So think of uh, on and off timers which are supported in the energy management, also the holiday management and the backlight. So um, these are then functionalities which are only supported within the P plan. And from the latest models, which are um, featuring the S10 player and higher, will soon also have the energy consumption available. Again, only supported within the P series of VXT. So that's it for the content section or for a display section actually. Then moving over to the content section, I can here uh, see an overview of all my content items of course. I can search, I can use the text in order to search for the right content items that I want. Um, I can add content, which can be any type of content that I like. However, I can also create content. Now, by creating content, it will open the VXD canvas. And this is the place where you can actually freely design your own content, your templates, and uh, so on. So on the left hand side right here we have some uh, supported functionalities such as art or widgets for example Instagram business or I would like to show a source on my uh, display as well. Um, 
these are all supported functionalities. I can fill in the address right here. And change the interval accordingly. There we go. I can add my media, whatever I want to, like this. Um, I can change the order. Let's say I want the web file to be on touch on top of the restaurant file. There we go. And many other functionalities that are here available on the left hand side, as you can see. So um, the majority here is just also available for the S and the P platform. So there is no, not really a big distinction here. Uh, however, there are some distinctions and some differences when it comes to content. For example, I can remove the background right here, which is a P functionality as well. Now, what does this do? Uh, so I can click to remove the background um, right here. I can click on the button. And then as you can see, uh, VXT will detect, detect the background of my content item and can remove this accordingly. So this is a smart functionality that is included within the platform as well only supported by the P series. Now, I can make some adjustments which are all included in both license types. Uh, I can make some arrangements here and there to center it left, right or center. I can add animations. So everything else is pretty much included in both plans. Then I can make a preview. Now the preview will open a new tab again in order to show my content item in a new tab on what it will look like on the display. So this will be this. Then I can uh, well show the layers of course that I just showed you, but I can also work with the event manager. And with the event manager, it gives you a summary of what is happening or what you can uh, enable actually. So for example, uh, network commands can be filled in right here. So in case you have seen our YoYo solution, which comes with uh, UDP or network uh, commands in order to send to the display, those can be added right here as well. So YoYo is also compatible with VXT Pro. Um, smart things will be enabled very soon as well. And uh, we also have the touch application where you can uh, create your own touch application within the VXT canvas. Now this page will give you a summary of what the touch event will look like. Let's say if I add another page right here, um, which I would like to have my event to go to, which will be this image. There we go. Okay, then I will add a shape on my first page. Let's say this triangle. Now, if I right click on my triangle, I can add a touch event and I can then say, if I click on this touch event, go to page two. So this way you can create your own touch application uh, within the VXT CMSP. So this is only a pro functionality as well. Now I can save my content item. The name of my content item will be here at the top left corner. So it will now be on title canvas, but I can also write test one, two, three, and then I can save it again. There we go. So that's that for the uh, canvas section and actually also for the content section. Um, furthermore, I have my default options right here available and supported for both plans. Then moving over to playlist, I can create a new playlist. I can create a general playlist, which is just your normal content workflow that you're used to. In case you would like to work with sync play, so in case you would like to synchronize all content items uh, over all your displays, you will need sync play. And as you can see, this is also a functionality that is only supported within the P plan. Same goes for the takeover sync play. Now this is a new feature that has recently been added. And with this functionality, you can actually have your regular content running, which is uh, showing three different images over three different displays, for example. But this way you can have a takeover running in sync so that then the three displays will all show the same content item uh, as the takeover part. And it will also be synchronized, which is the sync part. And after that content item is um, expired, it will go back to showing three different content items that you had before as well. So this is also a functionality, which is a really nice feature that has been added, uh, which is only supported within the P platform of VXT. Now, furthermore, the rest of the information and uh, within the playlist itself 
is supported within both platforms or both licensing plans. Then moving over to the scheduling part. Right here I can create a new schedule um, and the same goes here for the playlist actually. I can create a general playlist or a general schedule in this case, but also have my sync play schedule. So this way you can also see again that the sync play is only supported by the pro license because it has been indicated with a P right here. Then last but not least, we have the channel section. So right here you can create new channels, which uh, is only supported also with the P section or the P license for the sync play. Um, in the case you want to create anything general, it is supported. Um, but then again, the channel section is also more aimed towards the pro license of VXT. So, but in a nutshell, these are the, the main differences and the main USBs um, of the CMSS and the CMSP. In case you would like to know more about each license type specifically, or you're interested in getting a demo or an online uh, walkthrough of the software, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help, show you the differences, and think along which license type suits best with your solution and what you're looking for. Thanks for watching.